Africa is a diverse continent. Its climatic conditions range from the rainy tropical highlands to the arid and semi-arid regions. With a growing population, the continent has to find ways and means of feeding high inhabitants. Among the foods that are common on the tables of many Africans are vegetables, taken either as an accompaniment to the carbohydrate-based staples or on their own. They contribute greatly to the nutrition well-being of the African population. They are also a major source of income to farmers and traders alike who every day market and promote these vital commodities to ensure spread across cities and rural areas. African indigenous vegetables, AIVs, particularly contribute significantly to food security to East African smallholder farmers. These leafy vegetables are increasingly finding their place at the center of dishes. They include Amaranthus, African nightshade, Crotalaria, spider plant, jute mallow, and African eggplant, among others, and account for over 30% of all vegetables traded in East Africa. Mchicha una mbegu zake zina protein iko juu sana. Pamoja na kasham na iron. Kiswahili wanasema madini chuma ambayo ni iron, madini choka ambayo ni kasham. Na pamoja na hayo tunasema kwamba inasaidia sana ina vitamin C kwa wingi kwenye mboga za majani. Na kizali kini nzuri sana maana inasaidia wakulima hasa wakina mama wajawazito. Indigenous vegetables are also well adapted to the climatic conditions of many countries in Africa. Some have narrow leaves to survive when when uh, when uh, the, there is drought, some have leaves that expand when there is rain, some reduce the number of hairs on their leaves on the surface or to, to the bottom so that evapotranspiration does not take place. However, even with the growing demand, there is hardly enough vegetables in the market for consumption by the African populations, mainly due to lack of an established seed system and lack of knowledge among farmers on the vegetables which they take as weed among some people. This has necessitated the need for pure seeds for each variety. Given that, scientists in East Africa have sought ways of developing systems that ensure the popularity of indigenous vegetables by studying the existing models of seed production in the region. Dr. Daniel Karanja is a principal investigator at Kabi and has been coordinating the project in Kenya and Tanzania. We were able to zero down into five priority indigenous vegetables. In Kenya, the main priority crops was amaranthus. And in amaranthus, we had the vegetable amaranth and we also have the grain amaranth. Then we had African nightshade as a priority crop. Then two other crops that came as a priority in Kenya was spider plant and crotoraria. Then come to Tanzania, again there was a priority setting exercise that was actually done. But the three topmost uh, indigenous vegetables was African nightshade, amaranthus and African eggplant. To find out on the need of the seed development models, a study was commissioned by the Ugandan-based Association for Strengthening Agricultural Research in Eastern and Central Africa, Azareka. Dr. Lydia Kimenye is a program manager for Azareka's knowledge management and upscaling program. Initially, we had done an assessment and realized that uh, crops like the African indigenous vegetables, which uh, are not very much attractive to uh, private sector, uh, farmers have a problem of getting quality seed. Farmers knew very little about vegetable seeds which they were growing. It was after the study that a pilot program to compare different African indigenous vegetables seed production models was mooted. A project named Scaling Up Farmer-Led Seed Enterprises for Sustained Productivity and Livelihoods in Eastern and Central Africa was developed and implemented by the Center for Agricultural Biosciences International, CABI. We identified what we call the key actors in the seed value chain. So in the first people we identified were the researchers 
because we know for sure researchers have got a number of technologies in terms of agronomic practices and also in terms of uh, different varieties. Then we had to look into what we call the community-based organization because our focus on was on farmer-led. So we had to look at what we were actually working with these farmers at the grassroots level. In bringing in all the key stakeholders together, uh, it, it, it calls for the, the, the locals, the farmers themselves, have the local knowledge and they know how things are working, the patterns and all that. Asareka is leveraging by giving in the funding to be able to pilot a few trials here and there. Kabi is bringing in capacity in terms of the agronomic practices and uh, the business uh, acumen. The project was designed to study and improve three seed production models in both countries and evaluate the significance of each. There were constraints in production itself, there were constraints in processing, constraints in uh, marketing, and also con constraints in uh, information. We then had a workshop with the project stakeholders where we sat down together and looked at the problems, looked at the solutions existing from farmers and from research, and from there came up with the modules for training. In Kenya, the project looked at two different models, research-mediated and contract model. The research-mediated model was implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture and Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, CARI, in collaboration with TATRO, a community-based organization in Western Kenya. This was conducted in Bondo, Butere Mumias, Kisumu West, and Siaya districts. The specific role that CARI played was to provide the seed because through stakeholder evaluation we found that seed was the major problem in promoting African indigenous vegetable such as spider plant which is here and we also have amaranthus and black nightshade. However, for the farmers to grow seed worth of being certified, the seeds used to raise a seed crop must be of known purity, class, and obtained from an authorized official agency as stipulated in the Seeds and Plant Varieties Act, Caption 326 of the Laws of Kenya. Having identified seed quality as a major problem, Curry now linked up with Lacrotech to bulk the foundation seed. It is here in Bungoma district that the second seed production model was implemented. This was a contract model where farmers were contracted by the Kenya Seed Company. From 2009, Kenya Seed uh, Company got involved in the African Indigenous uh, Vegetable Research to try and assist farmers to do uh, uh, seed production of uh, various African indigenous vegetables. And one of the areas uh, that we benefited was um, in, in training. We had been um, uh, doing a other efforts, but we had not been training the farmers. But when this project, one of the activities in this project was to train the farmers. And uh, uh, the company is uh, very happy to report that after the training, we have had um, improved yields. In this Chebukui village, we find Mr. Charles Mukenya, a young farmer who received training on AIV seed production under this project. It was his committed zeal that the company contracted him and other farmers who must adhere to the recommended agronomic practices to produce quality seed. Mimi ni mkulima wa Kenya seed. Na kwa upande wa Kenya seed, mimi ni lima sucha, yani black night seed. Na Black Nightshade hiyo ilikuwa ni mea kama mboga na ilikuwa ni mboga nzuri na tukua na lima kwa minajili ya kutuwa mbegu na hiyo mbegu ilifanya vizuri kusababu tuleka mbolea, tuka gadawa na tukafanya ikawa ikawa siyo mbaya tuka toa hizo mbegu na nikatoa kilo kama kilo miambili amsini na mimi kwa kaitu na fry sun kusababu ya hiyo pesa mbawe ni dipata Subabu kiti ya kwanza watoto wako shuleni, wanasoma vizuri, na nilikuwa naishi kwa nyumba ya nyasi, wakati huu nimejenga nyumba ya mabati, kitu kama rumunine, menua ngombe wa maziwa, 
Hasa watoto wala furahia hata kunywa chai mazao walikuwa na kunywa string. Na mimi na furahi kwa sababu sasa imetufanya tumekuwa mahali pazuri. Niko na pikipiki yangu binafsi naendesha na mimi nilikuwa naendesha baisikeli. The contract farmers in Kenya earned on average 4500 US dollars per year from indigenous vegetable seed through this model as we found out with the farmers in the vast country. In their quest to ensure high quality seeds are produced at farm level, CAFI's inspectors keenly follow the undertakings of these farmers. Routinely, these inspectors are seen inspecting every stage in growth of the seed crop. They check isolation distance from other crops of the same species. They also check pests and diseases, proper crop husbandry, and approved off types. An off type means a plant which does not exhibit the recognized and prescribed growth habits and characteristics of the cultivar being grown. Today, the inspectors are on this spider plant plot owned by a group of farmers in Nyawita village in Bondo district, western Kenya. As the inspectors go about their work, the happy farmers sing their hearts out in song. It is here at the World Vegetable Center, Regional Center for Africa, a few kilometers from the Tanzanian northern city of Arusha, the scientists have been working on different lines of different indigenous vegetables. This forms the basis of the seed models. In Tanzania, the success of the contract model in Arusha and Arumeru districts was significant too. This was implemented by Horticultural Research Institute Tengeru and AVDRC, while involving seed companies including Kibo Seed Company, Muliflower and East African Seed. Kwa kweli hii kazi nilipenda kwa sababu baada ya kupata watu wa kampuni na kutueleweshwa wakatufundisha jinsi ya kulima mchicha tuliwezo kuotesha mchicha kwa, kwa vizuri sana na tukaweza kufaulu kwa kuwezesha kwa eka moja kupata kilo elfu moja na mia moja. Pesa zile ambazo nilizo zipata kwa kweli nilizo kujengea nazo nyumba ambayo nyumba ya kisasa nilizo kumunulia na pikipiki na vile vile kupeleka watoto chuoni. This is the Doma region, the central part of Tanzania. It is a relatively dry region and green vegetables have been a pipe dream for the inhabitants. Thanks to the project, today the farmers enjoy a continuous flow of vegetables all year round. Here, a different seed production model only found in Tanzania was used. The quality declared seed model allows farmers to produce seeds under a semi-regulated system in which agricultural staff from district councils trained by Tanzania Official Seed Certification Institute, Toski, are authorized to act as inspectors. This system has been accepted throughout the country. It has structures that ensure the quality of seed produced is maintained and allows a wider group of stakeholders to participate in seed markets. The program fits well with the needs of the Tanzanian farmer. However, for the model to fit into the Toski requirements. The farmers were trained on principles of indigenous vegetable seed production and managed to produce quality seeds of African eggplant, grain amaranthus, and African nightshade. Ruth is an authorized district inspector. We meet her as she takes farmers in Kongwa village on seed quality control. <laughs> wakulima wanazalisha mbegu zilizo bora zenye kiwango wa mkulima ambaye anauelewa wa kilimo shamba lake lazima liwe na ubora unaotakiwa ardhi nzuri yenye rutuba lakini ardhi ile iwe na historia kwamba haijalimwa lile zao la mbegu kwa misimu miwili iliyopita after the seeds are harvested the district seed inspection officers collect the samples and bring them here in Morogoro. It is at this station where all the seeds in Tanzania are checked for quality. The scientists here keenly evaluate the samples to ensure only high quality and disease free seeds are sold or distributed to farmers. <laughs>
je kuna uchafu kiasi gani katika ile mbegu na hapo tuna kiwango na kitu kingine ambacho tunaangalia ni uotaji je inaota asilimia ngapi hapo tuna kiwango cha chini cha uotaji kwa hivyo vitu viko katika e, e, viwango e, vitabu vyetu katika vile e, viwango baada ya hapo e, tunatoa cheti cha mwisho ambacho sasa ni kama tunamruhusu yule mzalishaji aendelee kuuza mbegu the benefits of the project has surpassed issues on health and wealth but has also helped in generating immeasurable knowledge exchanged between the farmers and scientists. Harnessing of indigenous knowledge has been a major component of this project. The project implementers worked closely with farmers, having a wealth of indigenous technical knowledge. When we mix the seed with some uh, rubbish of the kind, the natural, if it is coming from the spider pods, then you keep it with the spider pods. If it is beans, you keep it with the bean pods. With that soil, you cannot find any insect. There is no grain dust, no dusting, nothing for pest control. But you, re you use that natural uh, thing, the rubbish of the seed, Biodiversity is a critical aspect of any project. The project has managed to achieve this given the nature of AIVs, which do not require a lot of spraying against pests and diseases, and is easy to use an integrated pest management model. The significance of this project has received great recognition. For us, we are very, very uh, pleased with the way this project uh, has been implemented and the outputs that uh, we have uh, achieved so far. In fact, last year Azareka had uh, its first general assembly and uh, this project was uh, identified as one of the success projects out of uh, 45 projects that uh, we have been implementing so far. The success of this project has been expanded further by doing more work to promote the consumption of indigenous vegetables. People now are beginning to appreciate and understand the nutritive value of these uh, vegetables. Now that we are seeing uh, these vegetables also being sold in the supermarkets and in high value market uh, outlets, I think we are moving in that direction. The impacts of the project have been many and the farmers know this too well. Nilipenda sana zao hili la la mnafu kwa sababu lilikuwa lepesi kwangu kulima. Nazipenda tu sana hizo mamboga za kenyi. Hata mi hufunza wa mama wachanga kwa mba hizi mkizitumia hata mkio wa jawazito inawaraihishia muna kuwa wepesi. Sio kukula mboga moja kama skuma. Nimefurai sana. Yoka ngombe, onuwa en oda chie. Kalu wango kebi. Onuwa en oda chie. Yoka ngombe, onuwa en oda chie. Yopurgi, onuwa en oda chie.